Hi guys, I wanted to come to you today with a video just to thank you guys for all the prayers and thoughts and well wishes and your stories that you left on my uh, life update video. Um, this has been a really hard week. I have been in a lot of pain. Um, my doctor did put me back on steroids and there is a medicine that some of you all ask me if my doctor would put me on. It's gabapentin or something like that. It's for uh, nerve pain and yes he has put me on that. Um, he changed out my um, inflammation medicine from meloxicam and changed it over to um, Naproxen. I'm not going to remember half these names at this point in my life. Um, but thank you for sharing your stories, uh, your thoughts, your prayers um, with me. Um, I did get two phone calls this week. One was from my therapist, physical therapist, so I will be starting that next Wednesday. And then the next Tuesday on the 4th of June... I have an appointment um, for them to put a shot in my neck that hopefully that will take care of this nerve, whichever one this one is. This one I can still feel. This one, the third nerve is not bad. This one's okay. This one right here is the one that I have absolute, I have feeling in it. It's kind of, kind of asleep like when you, um, it starts waking back up when you're feet or something wakes back up. It's kind of in that mode, but I was trying to put my necklace on and I I don't have the right feeling in it. So um, that is where we're going to go with that. I did talk to, I asked my doctor again because I was so upset last weekend um, that if the arthritis in my neck, was it bad enough for surgery? He said no. Um, so he's hoping that, you know, one of these things or a combination of these things will work. Also, um, tomorrow I'm going to get a massage and the, the therapist that I go to is, um, she's worked for chiropractors before, so she knows kind of some of the points to work with. And I guess I've been, since I've been laying on my side this week, I've kind of messed my back up now. This is a turn into a fiasco, or I'm being very, um, not wanting to turn or, you know, trying to limp everything along until I can get it all fixed is kind of what I'm doing at this point, I think. Um, but I think that's part of why I messed my back up. And somebody told me that, you know, I need to keep moving and stuff. And I am moving because I said basically all I can do at this point is watch TV or sleep. Um, one of the reasons why I say that is because the doctor has told me, he goes, you can go on with life. He says, do not lift anything heavy with that arm. He says, watch your movements with that arm. Do not overuse it. Um, I cannot look down. So there, I, there is my biggest problem. Um, and that's why I watch TV a lot is because I can't read. I can't do diamond painting. Um, I have been picking up stuff at the dollar store and Hobby Lobby and stuff like on the clearance racks to or on sale to do planner um, paper clips and things for my planners and I can't even look down for that because he, that is the reason why um, this happened in the first place. So he says like you can make a sandwich or something of that nature but he says do not look down for a long period of time. And so I know some of you have shared your stories with me and everything. I do want to get back with everyone on their comments. I'm not trying to ignore anyone but not typing with this hand, not texting with this hand. It hurts when I text and when I put it in here and then I start moving this thumb a lot. That hurts. Um, doing any amount of typing over a while with this left hand, that hurts as well. So, and then me and my laptop. I accidentally hit the um, finger pad on it and it skips to other lines and stuff. So, I try not to do any of my comments back on my computer because it makes me want to throw the thing. 
So, because I keep laying my hand down on, and this has been for a long time since I've had the computer, so I don't answer comments on the computer. I basically use my laptop to upload videos, and that's about it. Um, and I answer my comments on my phone or my iPad. So, I do want to get back to that. Um, I am trying to leave hearts. I have read everybody's comments as they've came in, um, but I didn't think about it and leaving hearts in the beginning, so I'm trying to go back and do that to let you know that I have read your comment. Um, but right now, at some point when I get this hand back to working order and I can look down and not injure anything worse, um, I do want to get back to you because some of you have told me stories um, and you shared your stories with me, so I want to thank you all for that. Um, this has just been one of those things that I've never been in this place before, and this is what I like my channel being like. Um, you all have helped me this time in I have this problem, and you've told me your stories. Unfortunately, you have to go through things too, So, um, but you have shared them with me and you've helped me along the way to know that I'm not the only one out there. I wish no one had to go through this nerve pain. It is, ugh. I have had several melt meltdowns just because um, of the nerve pain. And then um, it has been storming. I'm in Oklahoma. I'm in the Tulsa area. And last night from about 7 o'clock until I went to bed, I gave up. But tornadoes was hitting, I mean, it was just going around Tulsa. And it was hitting on the west side of us. It was hitting on the north and the south and, you know, the east side of us. And the day before, I think it was, a tornado hit out by where my parents used to live. Um, some tornadoes hit by the airport that we have here. And I think it was Sunday we went through storms. And uh, it was Sunday morning, as a, no, Saturday morning is when it was. And I was getting ready to go out. I had not paid attention to the weather. I don't do that half the time. And my phone had said there was, you know, a storm it was going to rain or something. I can't remember what my phone had said. And luckily, my friend from New, New Jersey called me. And he talked to me for two hours. And I was sitting there watching the news because I wanted, once I saw that on my phone, I turned on the news to see where uh, the storm was. And luckily, I was talking to him because had I not, I was heading exactly to where one of these storms was going. So thankfully, um, God you know, decided to get him to call me at that time and because this nut would have been right out in the middle of it and I guarantee you it would have been a fiasco. You want to talk about panicking? Right here we go. So, um, it's been just about an hour or so ago. I'm off Thursday, Friday. I just took vacation. Usually today I would be heading to Grove to where my parents are buried and I had to cancel that. I decided to cancel that and then my doctor, when I went to see him um, the day after I had my MRI, he said, no, do not do that. And it's a two hour drive up there, a two hour drive back. He was like, you will be in serious pain. So I already knew that and my aunt had di decided not to go anyways today. She was gonna try for Saturday or Sunday and it is flooding so much in Kansas and Oklahoma that I don't even know if they're gonna make it down there then. And I know my parents would not be mad at me for not going up there um, knowing that I had an injury that could put my life in danger and not only that it could put other people's lives in danger so they would not want me on the road traveling just to go up there to decorate graves yes i do visit my aunt and uncle and a cousin but they would not want me um putting lives my life and other people's lives in danger and going up there just for that when there's 365 days in the year so, and I told my aunt the same thing. I said, my grandparents would not, which was her parents, and my parents are buried next to each other. And I said, they would not want you doing this, putting your life on the line or anybody else's life, just like my parents wouldn't want the same thing. So, um, 
it upsets me that I don't get to go up there and do that. Something I've done every year since they've passed. But, um, obviously there may have been a reason. I wish it hadn't been as painful as this. <laughs> that, you know, because I would have gotten up there and there could be floodwaters that I could have gotten into. And once again, it turns into a fiasco and we do not need Brenda in fiascos. Um, rain, tornadoes, and flooding, that's just when... I go nuts. Um, I've had, we've had to evacuate into the basement of our building twice this week. Um, so it's been a little crazy around here. So between that, between the neck for over a month, because it was the day before uh, Good Friday that this started. So it's been like a month and a week, I think now, that this has been messed up. Um, it's been a little stressful, so um, I'm going to enjoy that massage tomorrow. I don't normally get massages um, to me. I know they're a good thing that you should get every once in a while to de-stress and everything, but that's just something I've never done. I don't get manic manicures and pedicures either because, well, we've all seen my hands. I wash my hands, so I'd have the nail polish washed off in about two hours if I had a manicure or something. I'd probably even wash, you know, fake nails off my hands somehow with that mess going. But, um, this is what I want my channel to be, is a place where you can, you know that, I've, I've always thought it said this with the grief, if you're in grief, you know that someone's been there and I want to be there for you all in the grief. Um, if you have a mental illness, to know somebody else has a mental illness. I have OCD and you know that that can get out of control sometimes. And um, I just want people to know that there's somebody else out there and you guys have returned the favor to me this time because you all let me know that there is somebody else out there, unfortunately, in the same pain that I am in. I wish nobody had to go through this because I did not know what nerve pain was other than a toothache. And um, it's not fun. Let's just say that. It's it's not a fun thing. And um, so I've only had my hand feel asleep like when I've been sleeping on it wrong or setting wrong or I've been setting on my feet wrong or something like that. And you get that tingling and it starts waking up and you're like, don't move, don't move. So I've only had that before, but this is, I don't ever want this again. So um, I haven't bought any more diamond paintings. However, one showed up in the mail yesterday. I have this one. So I'll show this one. Um, in some video, I opened my mailbox and I'm like, why is there a diamond painting in my mailbox? And I had watched a month ago or so, um, Marjorie Franklin, I think is her name. She has a little girl named Emily and she orders off of eBay. She does some of those. And this is what, um, I did. This one is the sloth. I don't know if you can see it there. The little, well, get the shining out of it. Um, the little sloth right there. So that's what it looks like. Um, and then all of those K's are white, I guess. And I was like, don't even go there. We are not diamond painting at this point. Um, I do want to get an easel. I think the one that I'm trying to get right now, or wanting to get right now, is kind of like the one that Donnie from Diamond Painting by Donnie had, where you can sit in your recliner and it comes up. It's kind of like one of those breakfast tables, but it... It's a computer stand, what, but you can do diamond painting on it if you want. And that's, I think, what I want to go after. Because I could get a drafting table, but I still don't know. I still think I'm going to be leaning. So I haven't figured that part out yet. But um, right now, that is my plan. I'm not planning on diamond painting. I did want to um, start Sneaky Cat in June, but I don't think that is going to be for my birthday. Um, I don't think that's going to be happening, so that's going to be put off a little longer because even once this gets better and I don't feel any pain and I don't have to go through any of this, um, I'm still not going to di diamond paint for a while. I may do like 30 minutes or 15 minutes. I may not even go 30 minutes at a time, but I will definitely have to get one of those easel type apparatus to do any kind of diamond painting because I do not need to be looking down right now. So, um, and that's why I haven't bought a lot of diamond paintings. The Diamond Art Club, um, I saw Stitcherista with something like 
under the seas or something that was one that i saw that was amazing but she said it's bigger than elizabeth and i have elizabeth here somewhere and i'm like dear lord i'll be in traction by then if i started that so i'm holding off on um purchasing any diamond paintings right now unless they managed to show up in my mailbox because i forgot that i ordered i don't I don't know that I have any more off of eBay. I think there was like two or three I was bidding on, and I think I got outbid on it. This one, when I saw it, I knew I had won. I knew there was one that I had won, but, um, so it's in now, and, um, let's see if anything else strange shows up in my mailbox here at the house. I'm like, okay, that's interesting. So, I have Dollar, a Dollar Tree haul, um... I will show all of the stuff, then I will show part of it again in a planner one, so you may not want to see it because I'm going to separate the two. I don't know if I'm going to show them all at the same time and then show one as a planner because I have a lot of other stuff for planners, so I'll just kind of mix it all in there. But um, I'm just wanting to let you know there's going to be some product reviews from my Sephora VIB sale. Um, there's three in there. There's one that is just... I do not want anybody else to purchase it until they change their packaging because it is a mess and a half. So I'll tell you that story. And it involves Charlie. He got involved accidentally and he was asleep is how he got involved. He just happened to be in the wrong place at the right time. So um, thank you again from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate all your thoughts, prayers, comments, your stories and everything. Um, thank you all for being there for me. I really appreciate it and um, like I say that's what I want my channel to be here for is to let other people know whether it's me or people reading in the comments that they can find something here on my channel that they know that they're not alone and that's what I love about my channel and I think I lost probably six um, viewers and that's fine with me if they don't want to be around here in the hard times then you know, in the fun times, that's just, sorry. Um, that's just the way it is. Um, I, and the only reason I paid attention to that was because somebody else was talking about they had put a um, video up and they were afraid they were going to lose, um, um, what is, subscribers. And I put this up. I didn't really care. The only thing I don't like about uh, life updates is because sometimes people think that it's a pity a pity thing and to me it is not a pity thing I don't want people to feel sorry for me I don't want them to feel uh, pity for me it's just me updating you on what the situation is this is what's happening with the channel this is why you might not see some content or something of that nature don't ever feel sorry for me I am a lucky lucky person so I just wanted to say thank you again. I am going to try to upload some different videos. I'm still trying to come up with some different ideas right now. And um, so just keep watching and see what nonsense I can come up with now. Um, I'm sure it'll be good before it's all over with. But thank you again for all your thoughts, comments, prayers, stories, and everything. And I will see you guys in my next video. Have a good day. Bye.